What's up guys? This is Tom Burkhart for Car Reps Daily in the 2016 Range Rover Sport SVR. One of the most exciting cars available today in a huge parking lot full of amazing vehicles to drive. Uh, the Range Rover Sport SVR not only sounds amazing, looks amazing, and is the quickest and fastest Land Rover Range Rover product ever made, ever, in the history of the, in, of the brand. And this thing is bonkers fast. 550 horsepower, uh, standard four wheel drive through an eight speed ZF automatic transmission. We've got uh, a zero to 60 sprint time of about 4.5 seconds. I, I could be mistaken, but uh, around that pace and a top speed of uh, above 170 miles an hour, which is absolutely bonkers for such a, uh, such a blocky shape of machine. But um, really the, the, uh, the, the incredible upgrades for this SVR are not just um, straight line pace related. It's all about uh, the handling balance and the fact that uh, that, rain, that the Range Rover Sport is now able to be really chucked around, you know, like a like a supercar. The fact that it sounds like a supercar is just uh, just a little bit of an added bonus. You got uh, you got paddle shift here, and. Um, and and just the uh, uh, amazing seats from the F-Type R, fabulous carbon fiber everywhere inside here, it, this giant moonroof. I mean, it's so luxurious and it's, and it's able to do all the things that any Range Rover can do, but now so much more. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, sorry, I <laughs> Apparently it was a manual mode right there. <laughs> like knocked my sunglasses off my head and that was in the rev line. Oh. So we got some rear wheel slip, rear wheel, uh, um, a little chirp from the back tires back there. Really um, nothing nothing that this car can't handle. Incredible four wheel drive system is a 50-50 um, split uh, by default, but is dynamically adjustable and uh, dynamically shifts uh, shifts up to, you know, like 80 to 90% of the power to whichever axle has a traction. So um, really just, uh, Really a very impressive car. Um, should turn around. Okay. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a, uh, a pistol grip trigger, a pistol grip shifter. That's a little bit, takes a teeny, teeny learning curve. Um, it's really very easy, but um, I'm sorry to mess it up there a little bit. Oh my God, this car would be so addictive. It sounds so fantastic. Um, just the, this exhaust is, is, is true levels of, a, of a, um, I mean, Jag now, but really just like uh, as mellifluous as, as any Aston Martin has been in years. Really fabulous. Um, and what you don't hear with this SVR is the supercharger, which is really interesting because they have a new supercharger design. And um, I think it's like a twin, some kind of twin Vortex supercharger. There really isn't a lot of the belt wine that defined Jaguar's supercharged engine lineup for at least 10 years. Um, now you've got the, uh, such a vocal exhaust and uh, an intake bellow that really dominates the, uh, the sound. Oh, this car is fun. So we've got it in dynamic mode right now, which, is, uh, which really sharpens up the steering. I mean, as you can see, there has never been a Range Rover that has steering that is that sharp. Um, and various uh, various modes, of course, uh, can tailor this to off-road driving or just full automatic. But um, the fact that you can you have such incisive turn-in from a giant box of a car is pretty stunning. But most of all, it's fun. It's fast and it's fun. I mean, every Range Rover Sport is cool, of course, sort of by default. But they're not always um, like objectively. Uh, fun to pilot and throw around versus like um, the SRT Grand Cherokee or KN Turbo, for example, um, or uh, you know, GLE 63 AMG X5M X6M. I mean, this is a big segment, and people at that at this price point want everything they want all wheel drive and all weather, but they also want um, you know, under five seconds to 60 miles an hour, and they want the uh, the sporty grip and sporty cabin um, accoutrements to to make it all worthwhile. So it really is a, is a fantastically um, uh, diverse vehicle proposition that's that just has luxury at its core. I mean, this thing is able to really do it all. It's it's um it's 
quite quite a machine. So we're gonna see this in uh, in James Bond this month for uh, or next month perhaps for the um, uh, the Spectre. Uh, film, which I think is like the 23rd Bond film or something, and Spectre has a bunch of crazy car chases, including one between um, a Jaguar um, CX-17 concept and a um, Aston, like a car chase with a CX-17 chasing the bespoke Aston Martin DB10 concept car, and then also like a crazy Alpine scene where they're in the snow and there's a uh, there's a crazy Defender, and then I think Bond is driving this uh, this Range Rover Sport SVR. Um, and chasing some baddies and, uh, and saving the world. So um, you can see why Bond would like the car. It really does it all. Um, and does it with great, great style, great sound, and, uh, and a very convincing athleticism. I'm really enjoying the vehicle. In dynamic mode right now, obviously, with that, with that um, really sharp steering input and, uh, and more responsive throttle tuning and transmission and everything, um, the, it does have like some some big trade-off, which is like the ride quality becomes like pretty sharp, but uh, but really not. But in the grand scheme of things, that's absolutely 100% necessary to uh, to give the Range Rover Sport SVR the body control that it needs as the sportiest Range Rover of all time. So really stellar car, obviously with a price to match. Uh, the SVR is very pricey. I don't have a sheet in here. Oh, I think I do have a sheet. Excuse me. Very impressive. What do we think? Uh, I'm thinking like 120. We'll have to check. Yes. Oh, I hope it's in here, and it's not. But anyway, it's it's very pricey, but it's, it's it feels worth it. And there's certainly, um, there are certainly lots of ways to spend more money on a super SUV. I mean, these days you've got like the Bentley Bentayga um, coming out with with uh with 200k pricing and uh km turbo s uh easily like you know 160 these days so you know what the range rover sport svr does is truly compete in that category in the super truck category as it never really has been before as, as it never has before this is true competition no excuses and uh and a lot more fun and luxurious than, than some of its some of its competitors. It's really just, it's a do-it-all machine. A secret agent man of a car. Okay, see you guys later. This is Tom Burkhart for Car Rips Daily in the 2016 Range Rover Sport SVR. This uh, Range Rover is available now and um, and comes with, uh, with like, almost all this stuff is standard, including like the great seats and you know, all of the, um, all the power and everything like that. But there are, there are some really desirable um, like customization options including, you know, like uh, more private, more tinted windows and back. I think you can order and uh, and different finishes for all this carbon fiber and of course the colors and everything like that. We've got a bright, bright royal blue on this example and it looks gorgeous. It really is, because it looks so much like the original concepts and the original um, launch film vehicles, it, it has a huge sense of occasion um, that I think might be missing from some of the other colors. Like in black, for example, the SVR is not as, you can't tell right away from like 100 feet that it's the top dog. Um, so uh, I would definitely go for one of the other, one of these uh, unique SVR colors, just to give you a little bit more, uh, more of an edge on the road. But otherwise, I mean, you are gonna be, you are gonna be smiling like, like Bond every day driving this thing. So, okay, we'll see you soon. Tom Burkhardt for Car Rips Daily, bye.